I've got this uh, eight day clock here and uh, I don't remember if I ever polished it up or not but it sits on I don't know whether it's east north south or west of my wall and this is the only clock and I have several clocks on that wall that looks like this so again I don't know whether I cleaned it up in the first place or not but I normally use uh, Old English oil or the uh, uh, Howard's uh, feed and wax but a friend of mine was telling me about this new life furniture mask so I ordered some and we're gonna try it on this clock so I'm gonna go ahead and take the topper off and we're gonna start with the topper so stand by so unless you unless you glued your uh, uh, antlers in they just stick in so they come right off I don't typically glue my antlers in unless there's damage so uh, brings more light in on the situation let me go ahead and open up the jar the instructions say apply mask gently with fingertips allow to sit five minutes wipe off thoroughly wipe dry in case of damage finishes stubborn dirt or wax build up of eighth inch or more rub with four slash o steel wool very softly and gently so finish will not be harmed repeat if necessary removes water mark rings grime etc be sure to remove all mask from surface and always leave on only long enough to clean so uh, I need to get a rag so stand by I have a uh, terry cloth here so like I said we're gonna start with the topper and we're gonna do one side of it and uh, let it sit for five minutes then wipe it off and see what happens we're going to compare the two so uh to make this video short i'm going to pause the video while i do everything so stand by of course i'm going to use a brush and the cracks because my fingers are too big to uh, get into the cracks so uh that's what i'm doing so we'll come back okay i waited five minutes and i wiped it off you could tell the difference it looks a lot better here's the information this is where you get this product in case y'all want to get it. it cost me $28 and 72 cents it comes in a um, how many ounces this thing have I don't know it's pretty heavy my friend says it lasts him a couple years uh, per container I believe that's what he said 16 ounces and uh, but it's 2872 so the next step I'm gonna do is take old English oil and do this side so y'all can see the difference and uh, we'll go from there so uh, with the old English oil, it's so much easier to put on. You just uh, sprinkle it on. And then uh, with my typical brush here, I uh, spread it around.
but y'all don't need to see me do all this so I'm gonna finish doing it then we'll come back okay I got the old English oil on I got the new wave on my question is can you see a difference let me see if I can get rid of or point my camera differently so we can see better light do you see a difference get some light behind me maybe can you tell a difference between the old English oil and the new wave product that I just purchased myself I don't see that much of a difference the old English oil costs about six dollars for this kind the darker old English oil costs more but the uh, this kind costs about six or seven dollars and I think I paid about eight dollars for the smaller bottle But this is supposed to cover scratches and, for, and it's for darker wood. My friend takes all the trim off the clock when he works on a clock. It would be easier to uh, polish up everything using the new wave product but if you're using old English oil like I typically do you just pour it on and then spread it around with a brush or a cloth I did wipe what I could off on this just so you could see if you could tell a difference in the finishes they both look good um, one is more expensive than the other and can you tell which ear I replaced on this topper I did replace an ear on the topper but anyway I hope you all like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel uh, uh, I just also want to say with the um, with the Howard Speed and Wax, it's like uh, waxing your vehicles. You have to put the wax on, and then you take the wax off. And so um, um, I do like the Howard Speed and Wax on a clock that doesn't have all this carving. Because putting the wax on and taking the wax off when you got all this fine carving is harder for me to do. I got carpal tunnel in both my hands. It's hard for me to do, but I will do it on my like my grandfather clocks and regular clocks that don't have a lot all this detailed carving. Uh, a lot of people you like the Howard Speed and Wax, but I also put the product on the back of the clock because uh, the oil and and the uh, um, furniture mask protects wood and so I always put it on the back of the clock the inside of the clock wherever I can so uh, again I hope you all like this uh, demonstration uh, please tell me what you think is better and please subscribe to my youtube channel god bless subscribing to my youtube channel it's free it doesn't cost you anything 
to subscribe to YouTube unless you are going to post videos. The videos that I post are short videos, and I get complaints every once in a while. Why does your videos have to be so short and so many? And that's because I don't pay for my subscription. If I paid for my subscription, I could post two hour long videos. But for my internet living out in the country, for me to post a two hour long video, it would probably take a week, week and a half, two weeks, because like tonight, it's 16 degree below out. My internet is slower. I have to continue looking at my uh, uh, YouTube channel and reloading the video because it gets stuck. So a seven minute video has taken me two hours to post. And that's why I do not want to subscribe to YouTube to post longer videos Plus, I'm on a limited income, and uh, I want to uh, uh, use my money wisely. For those people who have a problem with my short videos, I don't know what to tell you. I could always charge, um, uh, create DVDs and charge people for their, uh, for my, uh, 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 uh DVDs, so uh, this is free. Why are you complaining to something that's free? Anyway, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and God bless.